Hello everyone, my name is Jun from University of Toronto, and today, on behalf of my co-authors Dong Li and Professor Stephen Waslander, I will be presenting our work, Probabilistic Multiple Fusion of Active Sterile Depth Maps for Robotic Beam Picking. Beam picking is a very important problem in both computer vision and robotics. The goal is to have the vision-guided robot to pick up objects with random poses in the bin. Given the input RGBD data, the bin picking solution generally follows a two-step strategy. The object detection and the 6D pose estimation, followed by the grasp of synthesis and the motion planning. For the bin picking problem, both object pose estimation and path planning heavily rely on the depth data quality and because of requirements of high accuracy and short cycle time in robotic beam picking, active stereo cameras, such as Ensenso and RealSense camera, have been used regularly for this task. Historically, for a beam picking system, the depth camera is generally mounted statically above the beam, which has big problems on the reflective objects. Because of the shiny surface, it often has a large amount of missing depth data, making the robot perception fail. To compromise this problem, when setup permits, we can use the multi-view strategy to fuse the depth maps from the different viewpoints. And here, we can see the acquired multi-view depth maps are compensated to each other. In this example, we show a reconstruction result using the standard TSDF volumetric fusion which can provide a higher level of the scene completion compared to the single view depth map. However, one biggest problem for the TS data fusion is the depth measurement is assumed to have the same noise level and are considered equally in the fusion. And this assumption is generally not hold for the reflective objects. In this example, we can see a large amount of outliers using the standard TS data fusion. Therefore, in our work, we explicitly estimate the depth uncertainties for the reliable fusion. And in summary, we made the following contributions. First of all, we create a complete framework for the scene reconstruction in the bin picking problem, which includes both depth uncertainty estimation and the probabilistic volumetric integration. And secondly, we released a multi-view dataset for the reflected objects in robotic beam picking scenarios, which can be used for evaluating depth fusion and other robotic vision problems. And lastly, we evaluated the traditional fusion approach and our method for multi-view depth fusion and its impact on the object pose estimation. Here is the overall pipeline for our depth fusion work. And because of the importance of the active stereo camera in robotic beam picking, we put a focus on such camera and the model both photometric and geometric uncertainties. The estimated uncertainties are then incorporated into a probabilistic volumetric fusion framework for the incrementally updating of the scene. For the active stereo cameras, because it actually projects the light patterns, the stereo matching on the textureless area becomes relatively easy with this ideal cost curve. However, when there is specular reflection, the light patterns becomes invisible and the cost curve becomes ambiguous. And therefore, for the photometric uncertainty in our work, we basically examine this cost curve and estimate a confidence score for this curve. And this metric can be used for evaluating the depth measurement for different active stereo cameras. Specifically, given the input disparity map and the pattern projected stereo pair, we first compute the cost curve for the stereo matching hypothesis based on the normalized cross correlation. The final confidence score can provide the uniqueness of the assigned disparity and the actual correlation of the left right matching. To evaluate the estimates, we box plot the correlation between the error map and our estimate confidence score. We can see the decreasing of the disparity error when the estimated confidence score increases. And for geometric uncertainty, for each pixel, 
we convert it into the 3D space and examine its local consistency with its neighbors. We first fit a local quadratic surface and the geometric uncertainty basically matter how far the point is to the local surface. Because this method is based on the 3D point cloud, it doesn't have to be limited to the active stereo cameras and it can be potentially applied to different depth cameras for estimating the geometric uncertainty. And similarly, we box plot the correlation between the measured and our estimate geometric uncertainties for qualitative evaluation. And we can clearly see the strong correlation between our estimation and the measured uncertainties. To better use our estimate uncertainties, we perform the volumetric fusion in a probabilistic manner. Inspired from a multi-view stereo paper, we assume that the depth measurement can be modeled as a mixture of Gaussian and the uniform distribution. The Gaussian distribution represents the correct measurement with certain variance, and the uniform distribution represents the outlier. And in the same paper, the author has proved that its posterior can be approximate by a product of this Gaussian and beta distribution. And he also provides a strategy to update these parameters incrementally. And for our volumetric fusion, we use a similar strategy. We maintain these four parameters for each 3D voxel. And when a new frame comes, we compute the sine distance function with associated photometric and geometric uncertainties for the incrementally updating. And finally, to reconstruct the mesh surface, we only connect the zero crossings when the voxels has small uncertainty and its inline probability is large enough. And to demonstrate the advantage of our work, we presented Robbie, the reflective object in Bin's dataset. So this dataset is a multiple dataset for the highly reflective objects. It includes the seven industrial objects and in the different bin scenarios. We captured the Robby dataset with a high-cost and sensor active stereo camera. And we can see that the camera is able to capture the object with a lot of geometric details. But there is a large amount of missing depth data because of the surface reflection. And for the data capture, we mount this camera to a 6-axis robot arm and program it to move to different viewpoints for the data capturing. And in total, we captured up to 88 viewpoints for each individual scene. And for the Robby dataset, the most interesting part is that we provide the ground truth depth maps using the high-end and sensor camera and the anti-reflective scanning spray. The scanning spray can create the ideal Lambertian surfaces for the objects so that the camera can achieve its optimal depth accuracy. With such high-quality depth maps, we are able to create a ground truth scene model for evaluating different algorithms for both depth fusion and object post estimation. And for our experiments, we use the collected Robby dataset to evaluate our depth fusion. And here, we first visualize the uncertainty propagation in terms of inline probability and the standard deviations. And we can see that the reconstruction are gradually getting converged with the increasing number of viewpoints. But compared with the matte area, like the paper box, the depths on the shiny surfaces has a slow convergence. And to evaluate the reconstruction performance, we first show some qualitative results comparing our method against the original TSD of fusion. And we can see that because of explicit handling of the noise and outliers, our method has significantly smaller depth error and produce fewer outliers than the traditional TSD of fusion. And for the quantitative evaluation, we use different metrics by computing point-to-point -point distance between the reconstructed mesh and the ground truth mesh. And we can see that for different object categories, our method not only achieves higher reconstruction accuracy, but also makes a better trade-off between the scene completeness and the outlier ratio. And to demonstrate the fast convergence of our approach, we compute the MAD of the sine distance functions for all occupied voxels. As demonstrated in these two examples, the TSDF fusion 
generally has a slow convergence. And in comparison, our method requires much fewer viewpoints to achieve the same accuracy. And to demonstrate the advantage of our approach in the beam picking problem, we also evaluate the 6D object pose estimation after the depth fusion. Here, we chose a pure point cloud based object pose estimator that is based on the point pair features, or PPF in short. And we can clearly see that, given the optimal 3D data, like the ground truth mesh, the PPF pose estimator can provide the close to perfect detection rates. And compared to the TSDL fusion, because of the smoother surface and the fewer outliers, there is more correct detections on the point cloud that was reconstructed by our method.